Imagine this, you click one wrong file. It's late, you're tired, maybe it's that free PDF textbook or a game crack. The screen flickers. Nothing looks wrong, yet. But under the hood, a worm just slithered in, a Trojan just disguised itself, or a payload just hooked into your system. Most people won't notice until it's too late. Their passwords, bank details, and even their webcam are already owned. Today, we're going to talk about how to nuke almost any virus from your PC. Not the sugar-coated advice you see in click here to install antivirus ads, but the real raw methods hackers use to understand, detect, and kill malware. Stick with me, because by the end, you'll see your PC with new eyes. Viruses don't just spread in obvious .exe files anymore. They're smarter. Worms replicate silently across drives. Trojans hide inside PDFs. Word docs, even harmless installers. Double click and boom. Doesn't matter if the icon looked safe. That click was the handshake the malware needed. From there, it injects itself into memory, spawns hidden processes, and sometimes even creates persistence tricks so it survives reboots. That's why just delete the file doesn't work anymore. Uh, because the infection isn't the file, it's the hooks it left behind. And here's where the biggest myth falls apart. Antiviruses don't actually hunt malware. They compare hashes and signatures against a giant lie library of known threats. If the virus is brand new or obfuscated with AI or polymorphic, your antivirus doesn't scream, it shrugs. That's why malware slips right past them. Antivirus is like a guard dog that only bites thieves it recognizes. So how do you nuke malware for real? First, you hunt it. Open your task manager, not just the surface, but dive into the hidden processes. Look for apps running with no description, weird names like instead of real ones. Next, check your startup programs because malware loves persistence. Use MS config or Windows startup tab and nuke the strangers. Then dig deeper, use built-in tools like Windows Defender offline scan, or third-party tools like Process Explorer from System Internals. These let you see parent-child processes and kill the shady ones pretending to be system files. Malware hides in places most users never check. Scheduled tasks, registry entries, even temp folders with random gibberish names. To clean it, you don't just delete, you strip persistence. Disable tasks, clean registry keys, and quarantine suspicious files. If you want real tools, not snake oil one-click fixes, there are open-source gems on GitHub built by folks who actually remember what it's like to fight stubborn infections. Tools like Hijack. This plus act like a forensic flashlight for your PC, scanning startup points, browser helpers, and registry hooks so you can spot the weird things that sneak in at boot. Detected Easy is another tool operates like the file inspector. It won't tell you bad or good with a shout, but it will tell you if a file is packed, obfuscated or pretending to be something it's not. That's a red flag. For heavy cleanup chores, community projects like Tron bundle trusted housekeeping scripts that wipe temp junk, reset common nastiness, and automate a lot of the boring cleanup steps defenders hate doing by hand. When malware has already messed with system settings, remediation projects like Windows Malware Effects Remediation tool can reverse damage, fix broken associations, restore disabled services, and undo some of the persistent tricks attackers leave behind. And when you need to go deep, volatility lets incident responders read the machine's RAM like a black box, spotting injected code and hidden processes that never touch the disk. These are not magic wands. They're the legend-level gear you show up with when you're serious about cleaning a mess. Use them carefully in a VM or sandbox, back up before you change anything, combine their findings with Defender, Virus Total, and Behavior Monitoring, and you'll turn that haunted maze of code into a place you can actually defend. Before chasing GitHub Legends, take a look inside Windows itself. One of the most underrated built-in tools in Windows is Windows Defender Offline Scan. Unlike the normal quick or full scan, this one doesn't run inside your infected system. Instead, it reboots your PC, loads a clean environment, and scans your drives before any malware or rootkit even has a chance to wake up. Think of it like catching a thief before he leaves his hideout. Pair that with Task Manager's Startup tab to spot shady programs that boot with your system and use Windows security settings to enable controlled folder access. This blocks ransomware from hijacking your files. On top of that, keep smart screen and automatic updates switched on. Most viruses exploit old, unpatched systems, not fresh ones. These aren't fancy hacking tricks. They're simple shields built right into your OS, but most people ignore them. If you actually use them, you'll block 80% of the junk before it ever becomes a nightmare. And here's the brutal truth. Sometimes the fastest, cleanest way to nuke a virus isn't fancy tools at all. It's hitting reset. Wiping the drive and reinstalling Windows gives you a fresh start because no malware can survive a clean slate. 
It sounds extreme, but for machines that are too far gone, it's like ripping out the weeds by the roots instead of spraying the leaves. Fresh OS, fresh defenses, no ghosts left behind. And remember, prevention always beats cure. Don't trust free cracks, shady PDFs, torrent movies, pirated games, or mystery USB drives. They're the candy wrappers hackers use to hide razor blades. Those so-called crack patches often come with hidden payloads, keyloggers that record every password you type, crypto miners that silently hijack your CPU, or backdoors that shut off your defender and hand over admin rights. Even flashy free mods, music downloads, or fake software updates can be poisoned with malware bots. The goal isn't just to annoy you, it's to own you, to turn your machine into their machine. So next time your PC starts acting weird, don't just trust the antivirus scan complete pop-up. Dig deeper, check the processes, question the files, strip the persistence. And if you can't kill it, sometimes the smartest move is the simplest. Wipe the drive and reinstall Windows. A clean OS means a clean slate. No leftovers, no half measures, no malware hiding under the floorboards. If this video helped you see malware in a new light, hit that like, smash subscribe, and share it with someone who needs to hear it. Stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.